Right now, the future and success of our students is more crucial than ever before. The community is sending our students to our buildings for the entire day and knowing that we have the best equipment, the best rooms, the best climate environment is very important so that the kids are um, have the best place to learn for our staff to have the best place to come to work and to the community to know that, that we are giving them the best that we can for our students for building their future. With items that need to be addressed, including outdated classrooms and thoroughly used facilities, Cohoes is looking toward the future and in investing in our next generation. We are crunched for space. Every single room in our building is full, so what we're looking to do is hopefully um, create space in this, in this unused locker room. These are the least used locker rooms in, in the Capital District, and we're looking forward to uh, utilizing them as a workspace for, for teachers and kids, which is what we're lacking right now. We're lacking space to talk to kids and help kids. I'm actually standing in a former uh, fax classroom, which was probably called Home Ec. Uh, for a lot of us when we were in, in school. And so um, a lot of these are outdated and as you can see are not in use. And so our labs are small. It's more than having new things. So it's having access to be able to complete the labs and looking at what are we asking kids to perform and what are we asking them to do and then giving them the equipment that they need to do that and giving them a space that feels conducive to those lessons. Our biggest issue here in Cohoes is we're landlocked. We don't have a lot of land, so we're playing, well, we're putting a lot of teams on, on this field on a regular basis. You're, you're a young, young student athlete and you come and you see a beautiful turf field and a beautiful track. Uh, baseball field, softball field, it might entice uh, you know younger students to want to try a sport or get involved in a sport. Another thing that the turf field would give us would be another classroom space. Being outside in the sunshine is, is really important for our for our students and again we don't have those opportunities quite often because a couple days of rain the field becomes muddy um, it's just not it just doesn't work for the phys ed teachers to bring them outside but with the turf field they'll have way more opportunities to come outside and use the field. With updates to classrooms, playgrounds, sporting facilities, and more, the community of Cohoes can look forward to an increased sense of pride and commitment in the students of our next generation. As a teacher, when the kids are excited, you get more excited. When there's buy-in from them, you want to even, you know, work harder to, to create activities and ideas that will draw them in even more. With a, a, a new facility here, um, it, it creates a, a great environment. I mean, it's like going to a new restaurant and be able to be excited and see and and enjoy that, that hospitality aspect in a school district would be unbelievable for our kids to have. Having these upgrades, if I'm somebody that just lives in Cahos and I see we're about to get a whole new science lab, we're about to get a whole new track and field, I'm gonna say to myself, I wanna go here next year. Well, I think like this new field will help implement um, what um, all of Cohoes Athletics has been trying to teach, which is the Tiger way, having pride in the sports that you play and where you play them and who you play them for. The more inviting the classroom is, the more apt you have to have the, the kids come back tomorrow. If we have a nice, enjoyable space for them to come and visit, they're going to be willing to come on back with, with smiles on the next day.